<clears throat> our next destination is going to be through this warp, this warp hole. You got wind over here and one up here. Basically, these two will take you to the same general. There's going to be like another ring like this, like over in like this area here. And if you take the blue one here, you lit up on like the north side of the ring. You take this uh, orange one down here, you lit up on the south side of the ring. But as you can see, we can't warp to it. We actually have to drive to it normally. And when we pass through it, we'll end up going to the new area. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to normal drive to the orange one down here. And it's going to be a slow flight. When you get to the point where you need to use, where you need to be passing through the, uh, uh, the wormhole, if you will, the warp hole, whatever you want to call it, the, uh, the screen, the game will actually notify you with a little arrow pointing to one side. Make sure you're on, it'll, like, it'll, it'll, it'll point to probably the right hand side of the screen. Make sure that you're leaning your ship as far right as possible. See that orange uh, warp thing up there? You want to make sure that you leaned over here like this. That way you pass through the portal. Looks suspicious. Maybe it leads to another world. There, yeah, see that? You see that arrows that appear on the upper right hand corner of the screen? That's letting you know that if you actually go to that far right side of the screen, you will. Uh, you'll pass through that uh, portal and end up heading toward the next world. Or, or, or heading toward the. Uh, you'll pass through the, wor the wormhole, in other words. If you don't go that way, you'll end up missing the wormhole. A lot of enemies this time. A lot of uh, gunny pieces to pick up too. This is another reason why I was going to wait till near the end game to bother making a ship. Is you get a lot of gunny pieces just by passing through these portal, passing through these uh, levels. And every time you shoot an enemy, they drop a. Uh, uh, a gummy piece. All these little diamonds that I'm picking up, each one of those are a different gummy piece. Usually they're going to be like hull or wing or something, not going to be anything big like guns or anything like that. But there is an opportunity to pick up those kind of things like engines and weapons. Most of the time you're going to be picking up hull pieces. I touched that rocket, didn't I? <laughs> oh wow, I was down to half armor. And we've reached the next world. And if you recognize this from any of the Disney movies, or if you don't recognize this from any of the Disney movies, this is Agrabah, the uh, world of Aladdin. Let's disembark. And the keyhole? The Heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. So that just leaves... <coughs> Jafar, I've looked everywhere for Jasmine. She's disappeared like magic. <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? With her or without her, surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. Find Jasmine, and bring her to me at once. Heartless wielding scimitars. You've in darkness too long. The heartless consume the cares. <laughs> Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. Oh, we immediately go into a fight as soon as we spawn. That's that's great. Oh, 
Well, we should figure out some more of their of our, of the of their evil plans. The uh, they're trying to gather seven princesses of heart to unlock some kind of final door. All right. All right, let me go ahead and open this chest real quick. Mega potion. And before we actually move on, let's go ahead and check the uh, uh, our journal, the journal, and see what we've got so far. We've got some new things done since we've. Uh, uh, since since lately, <laughs> Sora's story has a new entry. Uh, do uh, let's see. Uh, can you disappear during the storm? Sort of an eerie shadow is drawing the destination. In Wonderland, they helped Alice, who was falsely charged with some crime, but in the end, they had someone abducted her. In the deep jungle, jungle, they defeated Clayton, who was possessed by the darkness. Sora is reunited with Riku back in town, but they were separated again. Sora's new friend Tarzan led him to a mysterious keyhole. When Sora sealed it with the keyblade, he acquired a new gummy block. Aerith explained that the Heartless traveled to various worlds through the keyholes, so sealing them might prevent more Heartless from invading each world. The new gummy opened a path to another world. All right. Uh, the Hundred Acre Wood. After opening a strange book inside Merlin's house, Sora found himself in a picture book. There he met Winnie the Pooh, who told him that all of his friends and his favorite honey tree had vanished. Some pages had been torn out, causing their disappearance. Gather the missing pages and reunite Pooh and his friends. Alright, let's check characters. Characters 1. Uh, Riku. We have a new entry for Riku. Islander, a self-confident youth, always competing with Sora, blah 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 blah. Sora had already found new friends, so Riku didn't rejoin him. Riku is willing to go to any length to save Kairi, even join forces with Maleficent. Oh, by the time Riku reappeared, Sora had already found new friends. So, yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, what do we got? Anything, any new stuff here? We got Ansem. A researcher who studied the Heartless and delved into secrets of the worlds. He organized his findings into a single volume known as Ansem's Report. When he inexplicably vanished, most of his pages were scattered to the winds. And Maleficent. The sorceress, a sorceress of great awesome, of awesome power. She controls the Heartless and is said to have destroyed many worlds. No one knows what her true intentions are. She first appeared to curse Aurora in Sleeping Beauty 1959. Alright. Characters number two, we got Winnie the Pooh. A little bear living in the Hundred Acre Wood. His favorite food is honey. Being of a bear of very little brain, <laughs> he is a bit absent-minded. Sometimes he even forgets what it was he was trying to remember. He warmed up the screen in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree in 1966. Owl, the wisest resident of the Hundred Acre Wood. Whenever anyone has a question he can't answer, he asks Owl. Though Owl isn't always right, La Owl likes to talk, but sometimes he puts his listeners to sleep. He showed us the wisdom of his ways in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, 1966. Alright, I still have new characters. What would I miss? Oh, Simba, okay. Leader of the Pride, he rules over the other animals of the Pride Lands, his Savannah Kingdom. Hold down the triangle button to charge up his power. When the command changes to Proud War, release the button to unleash the attack. Hold the button down longer for more power, cost 2 MP. He warred onto the scene in Lion King, 1994. Probably one of the first Disney movies I ever watched was, I think, Lion King. I think Lion King, I think, actually, no, I think it was Aladdin that came out. I think Aladdin came out first. So it was probably Aladdin before that, but. The Heartless. Let's see what new. We got red armor. A giant heartless similar to the guard armor. It splits into the armored torso, gauntlets, and hammer legs, each with the ability of individual movement. Each body part can be found heading a team in the Colosseum tournament. So it's called the red armor, even though it's the exact same thing as the guard armor from uh, uh, from Traverse Town, and the same color too. It was that color in the original Kingdom Hearts. I'm fairly certain. Opposite armor. Heartless that guards the keyhole in Traverse Town. It is a modified form of guard armor, but is more powerful. Even though it just, revert, it just slips itself around. Somehow it's stronger when it slips itself around. Whatever. Um, we got Bandit. Heartless that mostly appear in Agrabah. They can, they can travel under the sand. They attack deftly with a long sword. Attack them with caution. Alright. And that's all of the new stuff. Okay, let's check the journey. Let's check the uh, Trinity list real quick. Uh, we're at eight of seventeen with Trinity Jump and three of six with Trinity Charge. There's only three more Trinities, three more Red Trinities left to find. 
Okay, I don't think we have any new uh, armor or oh, check abilities. I don't think I... Oh, I've got, oh, we got a few new abilities. There's scan. Definitely equipping scan. Now I can finally see their HP gauge. <clears throat> Stun impact has a 30% chance of unleashing a finishing combo attack that renders surrounding enemies unconscious. I'll take it. Uh, and I've got the AP for us, so I'll equip guard, even though I'm probably not ever going to use it. Alright, Donald, you got MP Rage. Recover MP whenever you're hit in battle. Heavier damage restores more MP. Equip more to boost effect. Well, yeah. I was going to equip that, but <laughs> I don't have enough AP for it. Um, boost attack power and HP is critically low. He doesn't really need that. Because I think it only boost, I think it boosts your physical attack power, not your magic attack power. So I'm going to undo that one, so that we can have the MP rage. Because he definitely runs out of MP a lot. And considering I'm not equipping items on uh, Donald and Goofy, so they run out of MP very easily, especially uh, Donald. Okay, we've only got two AP left, so I'm going to put Tornado on. Whirl after an enemy using Shield to attack one MP, or Lucky Strike raises luck so that enemies drop rare items more often. Equip entire party to boost effect. I like Lucky Strike better, so I can get rarer items more often. Alright. I don't think any equipment has changed. I haven't gotten any weapons. I think armor hasn't changed very much. Actually, we've got quite a few things. I forgot about the white thing that we got from... Uh, uh, defeating Sabor in the, uh, in the, in the deep jungle. Um, let's see. Donald, you have Ifrit's Horn Inferno Band. Oh, excuse me. Brave Warrior. Uh, let's see. Brave Warrior. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to... I want... I uh, want Goofy's HP... I want Goofy's strength to be his best stat if I can, so... Although putting the White Fang on him will, strike me, will raise his strength, defense, and max A... Excuse me, max AP, so I'll do that. I already have Proterra chains. Don't worry about the Thundara chain, Thundara rings. What I have on Donald. Fire and dark damage by 20% raises defense. Any of these raise defense by anything? Okay, he'll lose one AP if I cha if I take off that uh, armor that he's got. Inferno band. Change that. For, okay, that one that wouldn't do any good. That wouldn't do any good anywhere. As far as I'm concerned, <sighs> look at him. I'm sorry. Oh, he's all elemental damage by 20%. Okay, so yeah, I might. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep that on there. And my defense is already pretty good, but and increase my HP and strength would be nice, but I think I'll, I'll keep that until maybe I get some more slots and then I'll worry about that. Then. Okay, so my gear is fine. Items are good. Let's go ahead and uh, fill that one slot there. Take out um, an other. Actually, um, I'm just going to stock everything for the moment. And I'm going to reorganize this list. <laughs> okay. Let's take out potion. 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 Other. And then an emergency. Elixir. Alright, Donald, I'll give you some others because I know you need them for your MP. And Goofy, I'm you have a lot of slots. Um, I'm going to give you a lot of potions. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now let me see. Customize. Donald. MP items only in emergency. God damn it. Donald. Only in emergency. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, and then Goofy MP items only in emergency as well to kind of is on triangle. Okay. Alright. We should be ready to go now. Okay. Let's go into this storage room here. There's a green trinity over here. We can't use it. The save point over here. But I can jump up here. I think I can jump up here somehow. 
Can I not jump up here? No. Really? I feel like I can jump onto the shelf and grab onto it. Okay. Obviously, I'm remembering wrong again. But if we pick this barrel, we can open this chest and get a mega potion. Alright. Uh, quick these uh, pots here. And you get items out of them as well. Some pots turn into to spiders, though, to enemy monsters, though, so you kind of want to be careful. Um, let me throw it on a safe and be right back. Okay, we could do, we could just go straight through the path right there, but we're going to do some exploring first. First, we're going to go up here and open up this chest here for a mega ether. And then we're going to jump over here. And this path is blocked for now. I think we can I think this path opens up later. I can't remember for sure. But I don't think we can go anywhere else for now. We can actually go back out the door this way. And head out to the uh, out to the desert, but we don't want to do that just yet. There's nothing to do out there right now. I don't think there's anything back there. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and move forward now. Agrabah is semi, it's, it's kind of linear. There's not a whole lot of optional paths to take. Oh, that was pretty cool. I don't remember seeing that ability before. It like stomps the ground and that kind of thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Alright. Oh, pots. Are these going to turn into spiders if I remember right? Yep, they did. Okay, now we go over here. We'll enter a new area. Alright, what's here? Oh, there's a key lock here. Let's release the key. A gate opens somewhere. Glad it was very vague about that. Alright, let's go over here and open this. And we got a Mega Elixir. We got a save point here. I'm just going to heal up with it. I'm not going to bother saving right now. Open this chest here. It's Scissors G. It's a, a gummy piece. Now we come over here and move this and we'll free the rug. The carpet flew off of the desert. But let's explore the city more. He's definitely right. We're going to explore the city some more. So we're going to go back down the way we came. It's we're up here now. So we're, going to, we're, back, in, we're back in the first uh, area, by the way. You see, there's the, there's the desert over there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump on these things. You only have like a moment to stand on them before they collapse. And then we got enemies to kill here. Kind of walk. Remember, you're on a, on a ledge. You want to be careful not to walk off while you try to fight. Want to jump over here. I like that ability. That, uh, that AoE attack I've got. And we got a cottage. Okay. Now we can go back. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to fall off. Uh, I guess I'll go back this way then. We'll go back into... This area, the question mark area again. And what the hell is this guy? He wasn't here a minute ago. We're barely scraping by. I want to buy, sell, I don't need anything. Well, let's buy. Potions, high spoon, others, tents, camping sets. Before restores the party HP used from the menu. Camping set restores all HP and 3 MP of the party used from the menu. Okay. <clears throat> Um, we're we'll back down here. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'll jump up here, jump across, jump across, and now go in this way. All right. Up here, and then up here, and then we can jump over there, and over this for a dark matter. There's a rare item. Okay. 
now we can go over here. 